Welcome to netmix.com, this tutorial on how to warp your tracks in Ableton Live. The purpose of warping is to set the pitch controls uh, for each track, or set the BPMs you know, and, and the uh, cue points right on the downbeat. So if you are blending two tracks in Ableton Live in track one and track two, as you can see here, I have audio one and audio two pulled up, then the beats will subsequently match up uh, each to each other and you'll be able to blend without having to worry about pitch and that frees you up to do more for example looping or using effects and maybe even playing six or eight tracks simultaneously um, we are looking at the 41108 folder and you know I can minimize that folder and maximize it uh, let's look at let's see I'll bring this Mrs. Gordon track in to track one uh, what's happening now, you'll see the sample analysis here uh, taking place in the bottom browser. And that means Ableton is looking at the track and sampling the data and finding all the cue points on the downbeat. The great thing about this is it really lines up all your you know cue points at one time without you having to do it. However, there is a little issue with with Ableton and being able to see the first down beat, which is usually, you know, in most tracks um, right here at cue point number one. So as you can see, this distance between cue point number one and the actual uh, first kick drum of the beat. So if I start to play this file, and here I'll click on the play icon. <laughs> You can see that it takes a little bit of time for the uh, start, you know, to, to really just start right on that point. So what we're going to do is we're going to enable this MIDI clock so we can hear, you know, how it should sound uh, on the downbeat directly in relation to the MIDI clock at the BPMs here over on the left. So right now we're looking at 125.99 be beats per minute. Uh, what we want to do is set this to 125. Well, let's say 126. And we'll save that. And now what we'll do is we'll turn this up a little. And you can still hear that it's not directly on the tempo of the MIDI clock. So what I'm going to do is click and hold the first cue point and I'm going to move it over to the right. And you can hear it starting to match up a little bit better. Hear that? Okay. What we'll do is we'll use this zoom tool to zoom in and zoom out. I can click in the timeline and drag. That means I'm zooming out. Or zooming in, I'm sorry. Uh, and on the reverse, I can zoom out by dragging in. Uh, if I want to restart the track, as you can see, the zoom tool turns into a speaker icon if you go to the bottom channel, the second channel of the waveform. Or you can go up here above the first waveform and you'll get the same uh, audio icon and you can go back here and you can start the track from the beginning. Now we're a little bit more in time. But we want to make this perfect, so I'm going to zoom in here, and I am going to move this over. Let's see. We want it to start right, right here on the, and this should give us the downbeat. And let's find the where we are here. Now what you want to do is that's locked to number one. Now you want to lock the rest of the cue points by uh, 
creating this kind of grid, if you will. And let's do that now. Uh, let's double click here. And you can see it adds a um, gray bar to the timeline. And that locks in the cue points right up to cue point number 29. And then I'll zoom out and I'll see how close I am to that kick. Um, there we go. And you want to do this all the way across the track. Doesn't really matter too much about you know which point that you want to get to. You just want to kind of space it out evenly. So here we're on 89 to 109, every 20 or so. stop that and let's bring in another record that already has its cue points which is so as you can see by playing both one and two now I'll turn this off You've got two tracks that are basically lined up to each other and you can see how well they mix together and that's pretty simple right so that is or concludes i should say this uh ableton live 6 tutorial on how to warp your track